What's up guys, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, then my name is Manish and I'm a third year medical student studying in Ukraine. Once again, I have on my channel, Dr. Gaurav Mudgal, who is an ECFMG certified and on his way to match into internal medicine residency in USA. So today in this particular video, he has discussed all of his tips and ways to study by using which he was able to ace every medical school exam and as well as his USMLE too. So it was a very highly productive and interesting interview. So make sure to watch it fully and listen to his golden tips and it will definitely help you in your medical career. The first question, sir, is the pretty much lame and basic question that what are the subjects in the first year of medical science? So uh, let me introduce myself first. My so, name is Gaurav Mudgal and I'm an international medical graduate from India. I was born and brought up in India. So pretty much my whole medical education was in India. But right now I have I am applying into USMLE. That is for United States Medical Licensing Examination. And I'm like, I'm about to match into the residency program. That is Internal Medicine Residency Program in US. Okay. So I did my medical school from a government medical college in Jhansi. And uh, yeah, so first year, uh, the subjects of first year. So the first year subjects are three, basically three subjects are there in Indian uh, medical schools. So one is anatomy. Everybody mm -hmm. knows some, about anatomy. Yes. It's about basic structures of human body. Second is physiology, like what kind of reactions, what kind of things happen in the body. Third is biochemistry. It's also like the chemical process happening in the body. So three basic subjects are the part of first year curriculum of mbbs okay yes. so so the second second question is what should be the strategy or what will be the strategy or what was your strategy to uh, study every first year subject and especially anatomy because that is the most i guess according to me right now it is the most volatile subject according to me right now okay so in my first year i was pretty much okay with everything like we started because in india it's like a first year students right now i don't know about the present scenario but during my time like when i was in first year like 2013 2014 time at that time uh we were having like uh we there was some certain issues like ragging and also we were not that much into studies but i kind of kept myself busy with all those studies so at that time, I uh, I used to study every day, like okay. take out two to three hours mm -hmm. in from your like normal routine. And that will be enough for you. So in my first year, I was like a kind of secure, good rank also, score also. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like third or fourth in my batch. So out of 100 uh, students, I was like, I, I could secure that good rank. So I would already say like studying for three hours is like, it's very sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Just do that. And you don't like vo for volatile subjects like anatomy. anatomy. So anatomy is something like uh, that was not hard for me. I don't know why a lot of people see anatomy is hard, but it's not. It's everything, like everything is inside your body. You just actually, have to remember. Actually, it is not hard uh, um, for me, for, uh, for, uh, for me particularly. I'm not saying that anatomy is hard, but uh, sometimes I used to uh, forget some stuff like, um, so like basic stuff, like uh, sometimes I forget that uh, the pathway or subclavian vein, path of uh, thora uh, thoracic vein and something like that. Like I for, uh, forget these basic stuff. So it happens with everyone. Like I not, I'm not someone like I'm not a superman who can like remember everything. It's just like mm -hmm. you just have to repeat it. You just have to like memorize in such a way, not like, not like memorize. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to understand and make concept. Like you have to think like how subclavian veins goes, mm -hmm. and how like thoracic uh, duct, yeah, thoracic mm -hmm. everything happens in the body. So okay. it's not something like you have to memorize. It's mm -hmm. like you have to first understand the concept, then yeah. prepare for like, like 
do draw or maybe like um watch a video about it like how this nerve supplies to the body or how this artery uh, forms its branches everything so that will really help you now so youtube easy. is there so you can mm -hmm. e easily find all those videos from youtube so the basic thing is that uh, we should we have to visualize and keep on uh, revising that stuff so like our brain is some like uh, our brain is made in such a way like we cannot remember like the memorization is not that good but our picturization capacity is really good yeah, so yeah. whenever whenever you learn something just picturize it like uh yeah. imagine that like you are uh, learning about the facial arteries branches mm -hmm. so the facial arteries branches just learn according to the picture like make a picture in your head like a person is standing in front of me his facial okay. artery is going this way and he it is supplying to the lower lip upper lip and this going nose me maxilla everything mm -hmm. okay. so it's like that so if you okay. can imagine like in this way that will be really helpful for like understanding and mm -hmm. memorizing okay so so the next question is uh, what uh, uh, What's uh, what are the books for the first year? You be you, you will recommend for the uh, upcoming students or the uh, uh, currently studying in the first year. So I would really recommend because uh, at my time uh, our seniors used to recommend and a, a lot of time they mm -hmm. have recommended some kind of like not that good books. So I would really recommend like if you are if you are studying, just study. Uh, if you are studying for anything, like whatever you are doing, do the standard thing. Yes, so I would really yes. recommend like uh, study the standard books, not uh, like some uh, guide or something. Guide to pass the exams only. Yeah. So it it just it will give you that much you know, hope, mm -hmm. like you'll pass the exam. But uh, all along your life, you'll ha you'll have to look back in other things like uh, i cannot remember this thing or that thing so that's why i like focus on uh, review books or mm -hmm. or the standard books so they will really help you so during my time i used to study for anatomy because my seniors have suggested bd chorasia yes. but i don't think like bd chorasia is that good so you should at least go for gray's anatomy, gray's anatomy although it's definitely. Although it's lengthy, it's it's like a lot of people will try to scare you. Like, yes, don't sir. go for this kind of mm -hmm. book. That, that will take a lot of time. But no, mm -hmm. everything is the same. But mm -hmm. the standard books have a, a good uh, way of uh, telling all those things. And like, you won't feel a lot of confusions because they are the standard people. So they are making their books simple and easy to grasp. Okay. okay. So for anatomy, go Please. for Gray's anatomy, and for physiology, Genong is there. But I, I used to study Guyton, so okay. I think Guyton is also a good book. Uh, that is a actually a standard book, uh -huh. Guyton or Genong. Yes. Sir. So if you are preparing for Indian PG or something, Guyton and Genong both can work. And for biochemistry. I don't know about like other people, like foreign people, but uh, we used to have this Satyanarayan. You Satyanarayan. Satyanarayan. Yeah, you Satyanarayan. Mm -hmm. That was a, re a really good book. I actually, I find that like even in India, Indian context, it was, it was really good. A lot of people were like referring other, other, what was the name of that? Harper's biochemistry. I don't know. Yeah. So Harper's, yeah. Satyanarayan is for Indian context, mm -hmm. but Harper's, Harper's, I, I really think like you should start studying Harper's. Harper's Actually, sir, is uh, here in, in Ukraine also, our teacher was uh, saying that you should refer to you Satyanarayan. They are, they are a big fan of this Indian book for biochemistry. I don't, I don't know, but uh, you Satyanarayan is a really good book. I, yes, I, sir, yes. But Harper, if you have like liberal time, you should really go for Harper. Okay, like, okay. It's just, it's up to you. Uh, in my, uh, like, right now I have passed everything and I know, like, mm. which one, which book is good. So I would mm. really say, like, go for the standard. Although 
Gaitan and Satyanarayan will work, but mm-hmm. why why not go for the go standard? For standard? Yes. Okay. Okay. So because personally for me, I'm feeling that you Satyanarayan is very tough for me. Like I like because I'm pretty much scared of this biochemistry. I'm I'm not able to learn each and everything of biochemistry. It's too much messy. Biochemistry is a very sweet subject. You have to learn about it because you have to put a lot of effort because everything mm-hmm. is interconnected. Glucose cycle is connected with urea cycle. Urea cycle is connected with this, 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 mm-hmm. this, this. So you have to start from the first page and end till the last page. The last page. So and in that way, this- you will realize like you can interconnect mm-hmm. everything, and that way you can easily. uh like understand the subject actually because for me and i am in third year and uh, i have started a little bit of clinical subjects also like mm-hmm. uh, this medicine and currently till now i feel that biochemistry is the most hard subject for me like a lot of people find biochemistry as hard subject and this is the reason like a lot of things you have to memorize in biochemistry yes yes yes, yes. so that way but Uh, there are a lot of ways to memorize all those things like you can watch videos like i have already said mm. like yes, you yes. can watch videos you can even connect uh, connect like a disease like phenylketonuria like how will that boy look mm. in phenylketonuria with the like homogentisic acid or every, mm. okay. every kind of like phenylketonuria pathway then maple mm. urine syrup a maple syrup urine or these these all things you can like they are interconnected so okay. you can do that and uh, this way you can really like connect everything and memorize so do that okay so <clears throat> and is there any kind of personal or special advice for the uh, first year scenario just go for the standard books and n- right now you have youtube i'm also planning to make videos on the subjects because okay. a lot of times uh they were really good concept which were like kind of the writer has written in a very difficult language people were not able to grasp those things so i am thinking of like making all those videos in which mm-hmm. i can like simplify all those things so okay, okay. hopefully okay. i'll get time to make all those videos <laughs> right now Definitely, we do a lot of things yes yeah, sir you can do in the in the future and uh, as a as a senior for first year student as now i am in third year so i am a senior for them i'll i'll also suggest them that you should give enough plenty of time to build up your concept don't listen to those senior who say just they study this 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 question and you will pass your exam you will you are going to become a doctor not a compounder so you have to you have to take, uh, keep each and every aspect of the medical science on your tips at least try to keep it them on your tips it is not possible to keep but please at least try so please build up your concept it will help, definitely help you in the future otherwise you will be frustrated so what i would really suggest to all those first years what i did in my medical school was i didn't uh, contact any of my senior for like exams or anything Mm-hmm. because a lot of time seniors give us the like the easiest path and due to that easy path easy we path. kind of like forget like forget everything mm-hmm. we just only focus on those things like they have marked in the subject or yes, or uh, like they have said like it's very important just read those and those things and you'll pass but with that uh, habit you'll not study the whole book and you will miss a lot and in your whole life you will regret this decision so i would really say everything is important start your book from the first page and go till the last page then during the exam time just do one uh, one revision of whole subject and then mm-hmm. select the particular important important subject so that okay. you can mm-hmm. put more in, uh, more work on those Or topics topics or, or subjects yes okay so uh, the next question will be sir. so second year in indian context has four subjects mm-hmm. one is pathology 
second is uh, microbiology, biology. Mm-hmm. and third is forensic science in India, and fourth one is pharmacology. Okay. Four subjects. So we have four subjects, and for all those four subjects, we first pathology. For pathology, you have Robbins. Robbins. Robbins pathology. That mm-hmm. is the standard. Don't go yeah. for any other book. I won't really. I won't suggest you any other book. I personally find patho- I personally find said that Robbins is a like a wonderful, a beautiful book. Yes, I I read Re- Robbins. I have actually recommended Robbins to a, every student. Like do uh, study with Robbins. Like the there are other books. Like I don't know. I Hars- forgot. Harshmohan. 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 Don't that that is bullshit. According to me, sir, uh, like what I I have feel that Robbins is like uh, the writer is uh, like writing a type of story, explaining to you, saying that this is this, this is this, and this is then like a story basis. In the first go, you won't learn a lot, but mm-hmm. when you come back to the uh, again and again, you will realize like yes, this is the way everything happens. Okay. So do, and there's one more interesting book. Uh, I forgot the name. Actually, there's a book from a teacher from Bangalore. Not Bangalore. Some Manipal, Manipal uh, Medical College. Oh, so he has. So so he has actually made the book from Robbins. It's a basically, mm-hmm. it is the concise form of Robbins. Okay, okay, so okay. I I used to study that. And actually, during this exam time, you cannot revise Robbins. So I used to revise that along with my Rob- Robbins. Mm-hmm. So like if you are getting a topic of inflammation. Okay. So first read from Robbins, but mm-hmm. in Robbins, it's like it's very much uh, complex. So complex, go to yeah. that book. And in that book, they have mentioned like the particular point, but everything is from Robbins. Mm-hmm. Nothing is out of Robbins. Like like they are short short type. It's a kind of short now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so yes. And uh, for, so, for mm-hmm. pathology, Robbins. For microbiology, uh, a lot of people refer a lot of different different books. So there was like Baveja book. There was Baveja. a. Uh, yes. So Baveja, and there was another book also. So and I read Atlanta like. And Panikar. Yeah. So Panikar. I read uh, uh, both of them, and like I mm-hmm. find both of them okay. I don't know mm-hmm. about any standard book for uh, micro, and third one is forensic. So forensic has Indian authors. Yes, so, sir. so there was some Gautam, Doctor Gautam. Gautam, Doctor Gautam. Yes. So I read forensic uh, Doctor Gautam's forensic uh, book, but that was really good because mm-hmm. uh, in that book they have mentioned like in the tabulated form of everything like suicide yes, in tabulated form rape in tabulated form and like point wise and mm-hmm. you can also refer to ready ready is also a good book okay and uh, for pharma so pharma. i read pharma with uh, kdt kdt so, kdt is like kdt is like a bible for pharmacology you can say yes but ph- pharma also has a standard book i, I forgot the name Pharmacology. No, I I just find KDT very useful, so I'm not interested. A lot of people that have referred to KDT, so that's why, like, mm. I couldn't find any other. Because K- in KDT, you will find each and every concept you, that they have discussed in those standard gold standard textbooks also. Yes. Mm. So yes, so KDT. Yeah, so, and my advice mm. will be just study Build for up your concept. three days. Build up your con- concept. Just mm-hmm. don't worry about like what other people are doing. Just mm-hmm. three hours per day. That's all. Okay. Um, sir, uh, the next question is which subject or topic to focus the most on the second year? Like you have to focus this subject particularly like. I would really suggest pathology and pharmacology mm-hmm. are the pharmacology is the basic building block of medicine medicine and micro also so mm-hmm. all these three three subjects you have to remember like get the gist out of these three subjects mm-hmm. i don't know about forensic because forensic 
didn't didn't come that much handy during my uh usmle journey but for mm-hmm. my neat pg it came handy okay. so i would really suggest go for standard books these mm-hmm. three subject then your okay. medicine will be really easy okay okay um sir any special tips for pharmacology because according to most of the student the pharmacology is like very volatile subject it's only uh, it's only uh, a person's uh, belief like for um, mm. pharmacology is very volatile mm. whenever you'll start studying like um I, i'll ask you like uh, what do you give for a uh, fever mm-hmm. you'll say like like, uh, like pcm paracetamol okay. so just that way you have to learn the medicines like okay imagine if the person is having and uh, like worms in his abdomen like uh, in mm. stomach or intestine mm. so at that time what will you recommend to the patient just imagine that so you will okay. think about like okay i can get i can give like albendazole i can give mebendazole mm. and then you'll think about like pyental pamoid i can give and they are like ivermectin i can give so all mm. these things like just according to disease make mm. a list of all those uh, medicines you can give to the patient so you'll remember with this way when you will remember all these medicine then the classification comes really uh, ca- classification becomes very easy so do this way so like uh, we don't have to remember like so just like uh, right now i'm um, by uh, my class topics are uh, uh, these anti cholinergic and cholinergic drugs so in pharmacology i'm studying the alpha blocker alpha b alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 blockers and stimulant so sometimes i'll be in these bit, uh, between these like beta 1 stimulants and beta beta 1 blockers i get confused like i mix up uh, one or two drugs in uh, exchange the interchange so that is the problem with most of the students especially yeah. like me just for like beta blocker beta mm-hmm. blocker beta receptors are on heart beta oh. 1 are on on heart mm-hmm. so whenever like beta blockers you are giving beta 2 are in in on the lung, on the lungs and right, yeah and bronchioles so imagine mm. that heart beta 1 beta 2 lungs heart uh, lungs so whenever we are giving like sabas like salbutamol mm. so mm-hmm. these are the agonist they will okay. work you no know, in on your lungs they will expand mm-hmm. your bronchi bronchioles mm-hmm. and alve- uh, not alveoli bronchioles bronchioles yeah so if, remember like this so you can remember like a uh, beta agonist okay? okay and then beta blocker beta blocker whenever we we'll, uh, we want to give beta blockers to all those patient who has who have high high blood pressure mm-hmm. and like palpitation so remember in this way like beta okay. blockers propanol metoprolol etinolol mm. bisprolol novolol mm. and everything you have to give okay, yes, yes. for the patient with coming with heart problem okay. so that that way then th- there comes alpha blockers and mm. alpha blockers where can we give alpha so rem- remember like alpha alpha 1 is like where can we find alpha 1 mm. alpha 2 where can we find alpha 2 so alpha 2s mm. are like presynaptic so whenever the receptor is presynaptic so if we are giving alpha agonist like clonidine mm-hmm. I, i guess clonidine yes, works on clonidine. alpha 2. so clonidine okay. works on alpha 2 it goes to the alpha 2 and then over there it like stimulate the presynaptic uh, neuron and mm-hmm. kind of inhibits the release of uh, norepinephrine mm-hmm. so by this way you can remember like alpha 1 can act as like anti hyper alpha 2 actually alpha 2 alpha 2 anti hypertensive alpha 1 alpha 1 agonist can like increase your blood pressure it kind of mm-hmm. in, uh, contract your blood vessel Blo- constriction and alpha 2 uh, alpha 1 blockers can mm-hmm. decrease your blood pressure so there are a lot of alpha 1 blockers do you remember mm-hmm. like any alpha alpha blockers right now no prazosin terazosin tamsulosin mm-hmm. we give these alpha blockers in bph 
and mm-hmm. uh, fentolamine we give for uh, phenoxybenzamine and fentolamine oh. so fentolamine is like there's some uh, non reversible and reversible blockage reversible yes sir so phenoxybenzamine is like it it kind of like blocks everything and mm-hmm. fentolamine is something i i guess like it's non reversible is reversible or something like that so both of them reversible. we can give for like uh, they when they are uh, when the person has like uh, this pheochromocytoma mm-hmm. so in that case they release a lot of catecholamines so yes, in that yes. case we can use alpha blockers to block uh, mm-hmm. blood vessels to constrict and increase the uh, increase the blood pressure so blood vessel uh, uh, they kind of relaxes and the blood pressure decreases but before that we have to give beta blockers also uh, beta blockers yeah beta blockers mm-hmm. yes there was something i have forgot about that so because they we have to we have to give beta blockers otherwise the heart the heart rate will increase and the, there will yes. be no 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 it, it, there was something uh, something reversal of something uh, reversal of dale i guess reversal of dale you might have studied that uh, mm, uh, right right now no basal reversal of dale just uh, search about it because okay, okay. we have to block the beta first then mm-hmm. alpha. alpha because alpha if we are blocking alpha then uh, the the catecholamines will work on beta and it will kind of reverse the whole scenario mm-hmm. so this way so okay like, just I, like the I concept the right now is. yeah right mm-hmm. now i'm just like uh, revising like reviving my own concept like mm-hmm. how can i remember all those things mm-hmm. so this way you can easily do all those things like remembering is not that difficult it just mm-hmm. like you have to interconnect everything okay the way i was saying it to you mm-hmm. i haven't prepared anything i'm just like mm-hmm. this was like in back in my mind i'm just like mm-hmm. taking out taking out taking out okay okay yes. so the basic thing is that we have to interconnect connect between each and everything so like in a story wise in a story wise like mm-hmm. uh, when i said like alpha blockers so you can re- Im- uh, imagine the, that like you have someone in your family like your grandparents mm-hmm. or someone mm-hmm. yeah, like grandfather or mm-hmm. or anyone who is mm-hmm. suffering with this bps he can he couldn't pass his urine at that time mm-hmm. you need something to cure like uh, mm-hmm. to to help him uh, during the mixturation so you can yes, prescribe him tamsulosin yes, or tamsulosin so you will remember like tamsulosin we can give it to so that 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 way like it blocks the alpha of urethra and mm-hmm. and uh, sphincters uh, urethral sphincters and alpha blocker of uh, is alpha blocker alpha 1 1 b alpha 1 alpha 1 alpha 1 sir alpha 1 b slash 1 d something mm-hmm. this is the um, full form of that so this way you can remember all those things now okay. yeah okay sir so um, so in third year we used to have three subjects first one was ent okay second is ophthalmology and third is uh, community medicine or psm mm-hmm. preventive and social medicine mm-hmm. so yes so preventive and social medicine is uh, basically you will find one book for it Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the name i forgot i'm i'm also not sure about this because right now i am not reading this subject there was a book by indian author mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't read it but in the last of like last one month everybody reads this book like what is important in this so th- it is a very good book actually there mm-hmm. are a lot of things in that even like a lot of diseases with their management and everything so Mm-hmm. it's basically for like it's it prepares you for primary care it's mm-hmm. a really good book and mm-hmm. for uh, ent i had dhingra 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 he is a professor in uh, aims or or molana mm-hmm. so his book we used to refer and mm-hmm. for ophthalmology what what was the name i forgot again it's it's been long so i forgot but there's a good book uh, 
I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay, okay it's no, a lot it's of okay, people sorry. like mm-hmm. in India. A lot of people are reading all mm, those books, mm-hmm. so it's not something. Okay, okay. Oh, I'll I'll mention in the video in itself. Okay. A lot of people know about mm-hmm. this. Baveza, no, 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 Baveza, no, no, no. Baveza is from microbiology. Microbiology, yes. I okay, think. sir. Khanna, uh, yes. Khanna. Yeah, some Khanna. Okay, okay. Mm. Ingra okay. and mm. okay, I'll mention it, sir. Sir, uh, sorry because I forgot a question in the in the uh, no second problem. year part. Uh, there is a. Uh, how to balance posting and self studies because in some medical colleges we they start uh, giving you postings in the different different department and uh, how to manage the posting and uh, the self studies uh, self studies is something that you have to do every evening or night self studies mm-hmm. is something like it's just like uh, eating your dinner or 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 like uh, doing something very it's very planned just before mm-hmm. going to sleep just uh, dedicate your 2 hours if okay. you cannot dedicate your one or two hours of your day mm-hmm. then th- there's a problem but otherwise you won't feel any kind of problem and and self study is are like basic part of your life like a, doc- a doctor has to train himself to do like two hours study daily okay. this way he can excel in his uh, in his life otherwise like he'll find a lot of problems mm-hmm. definitely sir he has to train himself for for the for, for the whole of the life of whole is practicing life yes what yeah, focus focus the studies for next pg need pg or other post graduation exams during my time a lot of people used to study for need pg like there, there was a guy who came with the uh, pg books during first year like with Uh, with those first year books he also had a cross i guess a cross a cross mm-hmm. with him so at that time i used to imagine like if you are so much worried about pg then like how can you do like i i was not able to comprehend this thing like mm-hmm. instead of preparing for your mbbs like for MBBS. your exams and like studying you are preparing mm-hmm. for pg which is like 5 years later Mm-hmm. so i didn't prepare for pg i prepared for my exam the present thing because okay. if you are pre- uh, preparing for present thing then you can uh, imagine your future just live in your present future can easily be made according to your mm-hmm. present okay. so don't live in pre- uh, future and mm-hmm. forget about your, forget about your um, present So give give and study hundred percent of your syllabus and you will definitely easily you will get during your internship so. you can like reconnect everything but mm-hmm. for all those guys who are preparing for USMLE I would really suggest like starting mm-hmm. along with your first year or second year for mm-hmm. your USMLE first step because okay. it will really help you yes, I didn't yes, do yes. that so but I would really suggest like. Mm-hmm. doing first step uh, in third year is really helpful mm-hmm. yes okay but for pg next or all these things i would say prepare in your internship and or uh, or like final year in internship that's all uh, actually sir there is a uh, i have also heard that in the, in the case of internship in the period of internship the doctors or the professors used to the uh, treat doctor uh, like us like a for we can say like animals that you have to work from morning 8 till 9 uh, they, they 9, give 8. they give a lot of skirt work mm. you know we call it as a skirt work yes yeah, so yeah. you have to like all the, the prepare all these charts and uh, and like transferring patient and doing that mm. and all that but just like just learn from patients whatever you have like if mm-hmm. you are posted or uh, you are seeing a patient with dk and uh, your professor has given this work of like writing his file or anything mm-hmm. okay just do things or like mm-hmm. do all those cut work also but okay. prepare for your pg also along with that like prepare that uh, particular topic in a very good way so that like you won't forget in your whole life 
Okay, so like, like for example, you have seen a patient of uh, um, the, what we can say, um, hypertension or congenital, any, any, any patient with congenital defects. So at home, you can study that particular topic in, de in detail. Yes. Okay, okay. So Just, you, you, do, you don't have to uh, like mix up each and everything that uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going for my internship and uh, I'm going for my rounds and today I have to study pathology or anatomy. Don't do this like. Don't okay, do okay. this. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. If you are even preparing for your need PG and all that, mm -hmm. and you're like preparing, just keep everything very much orderly. Okay. okay you will okay. finally do it and, and you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So that just like every day, every day. <laughs> that's a study. that's a very helpful, a helpful advice because I was I'm not I I personally was not able to like think at that that point that you can do this or this also and it will be very easy. So okay. yes, just mm -hmm. focus on your self study. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Everything will come on its place, fall mm -hmm. on its place. It's just like whenever you are even doing postings and doing uh, these this kind of scut works mm -hmm. that time also you learn a lot you are learning just yes, open yes. your mind like at that time don't think like i am doing this kind no, of no, no, or no. that kind of work mm -hmm. just imagine that like you have you a kind of work but mm -hmm. you can learn from it so learn from okay. it utilize okay. it because okay. the situation is not in your hand your professor is going to give mm -hmm. you all those works and you are supposed to work mm -hmm. so instead of like uh, uh saying negative things about it just take it mm -hmm. positive and do the thing and prepare for your exam exams okay okay sir yeah uh so any personal advice in this third year i don't think you need any personal advice <laughs> it's just like prepare <laughs> okay. prepare your exams mm -hmm. and uh start like do conceptual studies okay not okay. like uh, memorizing mm -hmm. things okay okay so just stick to your basics and try to build up your concepts yes okay so uh, um so what are the fourth year subjects like final year subjects final year subjects are basically four subjects but mm -hmm. they have their own divisions and everything so Okay. First is uh, medicine. Okay. Medicine also comprises skin and mm -hmm. uh, psychiatry, but okay. basically the medicine. Okay. Second is surgery. It has mm -hmm. like orthopedics, anesthesia, and a lot mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. Third is gynecology, ops and gyne gynecology. Ops and, mm -hmm. and fourth one is pediatrics. Pediatrics. These four subjects are there. Okay. But, uh, small small subjects are also the part of like medicine and surgery, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. they are all part of like big umbrella of like medicine. Like inter inter interconnected with the indirectly or directly with the these big subjects. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Because in India we have this uh, only one exam for like mm -hmm. means like we don't have separate exam for anesthesia or. Mm -hmm. We have like orthopedics, uh, that's different. There's a different section for orthopedics, but not different exam. Different exam. Okay. So, so the questions are intermixed. Yeah. Questions are intermixed. Like subject is like full subject comprises of anesthesia, orthopedics and the core surgery. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. That. Okay. yes. Okay. Okay. So, sir, um, few words about, uh, how to study medicine as a subject because medicine is itself a, a huge a whole course according uh, medicine is is very vast i i would really say just start studying medicine from since your third year if you're in third year just mm -hmm. start your medicine from that time mm -hmm. and uh, one more thing like uh, find a good book like Davidson okay. is a good book or Harrison, but mm -hmm. people usually find like Harrison, they cannot read. Actually, so, so the, the problem with Harrison is because like it is very time taking, like for understanding only one paragraph, you have to all minimum spend half an hour to understand that half one paragraph properly. So I would really say like what I used to do was uh, find a really good medicine book. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and refer Harrison for anything you you are not understanding. So mm-hmm. I used to do that. Like there, there, there's one book of Matthews. Matthews was there. So mm-hmm. in that, they have mentioned uh, medicine in a very question way form. So mm-hmm. what I used to do is like I used to get the gist of everything from Matthews. Like what kind of questions can come and what are the topics and how 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 can I like write the answers and everything. But yeah. I used to refer all those topics from uh, Harrison. So just imagine that like sleeping sickness. So sleeping Mm -hmm. sickness was uh, was written in Matthews in a very short form. Mm -hmm. So what I used to do was like I used to study first Matthews and Mm -hmm. then go to Harrison. And from Harrison, I used to take down all those points which were really important and Mm -hmm. And I want those points in, in my answer and which like Matthews uh, was lacking. Okay. That was not in the Matthews. So I used to uh, note down. So it, it's kind of a way of like uh, improving the content of Matthews. So basically you were uh, taking an overview from the Matthews and detailed study with uh, Harrison. I used to like... Matthews was the book I was mm-hmm. referring, okay. but Harrison was book I was uh, reviewing. So okay. just like uh, malaria, just imagine mm-hmm. malaria. So okay. Mat- Matthews has a very like some points were, of malaria was, were there mm-hmm. in Matthews. So what I used to do was like I used to uh, study Matthews first and okay. I used to know like what kind of uh, points are there in Matthews. Then mm-hmm. studying uh this Harrison again, mm-hmm. Harrison. So I used to take down all those important points from Harrison into Matthew. So that like next time I don't have to refer Harrison. Harrison. So I can just refer Matthews and I'll get the best of both the books. Okay. okay. So it was like that. Okay. So, so what are the books for uh, other subjects also? For surgery, I used to, Read Bailey and Love. Bailey and Love, okay. Sir. This is a very good book. Mm-hmm. Um, just like Bailey and Love, and you can, a lot of times you can also supplement it with other books like, uh, there was Manipal Manual of Surgery. So if Manipal you, Manipal find, and Das yeah. Manual. Yeah. So just like a good, just refer uh, Bailey. Bailey was something that I used to study every day. But Mm -hmm. if I'm like, if I want to look something very fascinating or some good picture or something like Mm -hmm. that, I used to refer Manipal book of surgery. Okay. okay. In this way, like I I used Mm -hmm. to correlate everything. Okay. For ops, it was Datta. Datta. Indian author, Datta. Mm -hmm. And and there was like, yes, for Gaini, there was Shaw. 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 Okay, Shaw, uh, you'll find this book, Shaw. It is a very standard book. And uh, Datta is also a really nice book for obstetrics Mm -hmm. and gynae. People usually refer Shaw. And for pediatrics, we used to have this OP Ghai. OP Ghai. OP Ghai. So, yeah, Mm -hmm. he's a a professor from Ames. So, we used to study that. Mm -hmm. And I think those books were pretty much okay. You okay. just need standard book for surgery and medicine. Okay. okay. And which I think about, Harrison uh, and Bailey and Love used to fulfill. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. And sir, uh, other than Harrison, we can also uh, refer to Davidson? Yes. So Davidson is also a nice book. Mm-hmm. So, but like choose one, Davidson or Harrison. Okay. Both it are good books. Yes. Okay. Both and are so really about- good. Uh, what about anesthesia? Anesthesia. So we used to have very extensive evening lectures during that time. So we didn't find any difficulty in anesthesia. Okay. Um, anesthesia. I don't think anesthesia was that much important at that time. <laughs> Means like it was like we used to have a lot of uh notes from our seniors and a lot of times we had like good teaching uh evening teachings so we used to note down all those things and 
that was i think very much sufficient for our our exams and like getting the basic knowledge of anesthesia yeah, so, because in anesthesia there are like very few basic things that you have to memorize yes and so what about orthopedics there uh, there was one book of orthopedics i forgot the mm-hmm. that was yellow book um, maheshwari okay orthopedics that that book is a really nice book so mm-hmm. i used to study maheshwari for my orthopedics yes okay okay sir um sir the, this is the final year so any kind of personal advice you want to give this in this like any any kind of personal advice regarding studies or your college life any anything just um play every day like uh when i do it, some certain kind of exercise mm-hmm. even playing running or anything mm-hmm. and uh, study study like give yourself sweet 2 to 3 hours of self study self study means like you particularly you are studying for yourself it's just like you are studying a particular subject or anything you're not doing your course hospital work or or anything you are studying okay. particular book on your own so this way so, so that i have i have also heard that in medical in medical stream you have to study for like 10 hours 12 hours 14 hours so sir what is this like hoax or reality it's a hoax i would say hoax but during that uh, exam time you have to study a lot no, that, that is definitely but i have studied i have seen that because before coming into medical life uh, so, so uh, it I'm was sorry, uh, many people it was the situation with a lot of people who was like reading um uh, mm-hmm. i i won't i don't want to say the name of my mm-hmm. colleagues but they used to study for like 10 to 12 hours but they were not that much efficient because they mm-hmm. they have always scored less than me i was like among the top 5% of my batch Mm-hmm. and i can proudly say like i used to study 2 to 3 hours every day but i was mm-hmm. consistent 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 so mm-hmm. consistency is something that is really going to help you in everything everything yes definitely sir so consistently study mm-hmm. do self study every day and that will really help in like uh, then you won't have to study 10 or 14 hours per day during like last month or last week mm-hmm. of the exam okay 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 yes so basically the consistency is key that like you have to study each and every day like for two or three hours and that will be sufficient three to four hours in the uh, four hours in final year final year definitely hours, two to three <laughs> hours are like first year second year because mm-hmm. at that time you don't have that much burden but mm-hmm. in final year you have a lot of uh, a lot of rules a mm-hmm. so, uh, lot of uh, your uh, syllabus and you have a lot less very less time so okay, that's sir. why and uh, sir uh, one more question is sir is there any like uh, how how did you uh, like in while studying in fourth year and studying all of these subjects or topic of fourth year how would i did how did you manage time to uh, revise that uh, first year and second year subjects you don't have to revise first year or second year subjects in final year everything is in medicine like medicine is pharmacology pathology and microbiology everything is interconnected as in medicine so just okay. study medicine and you'll recall everything for okay. preparation for your uh, need pg or like for medical graduate exam at mm-hmm. that time you need mm-hmm. first year second year and third year and final year so at that time study first year or second year in internship but not in final year final year study the final year subjects like uh, medicine just study medicine uh, surgery obs gynae and mm-hmm. this pediatrics 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 yes. okay so uh, so so then in internship when we are preparing for our medical graduate exam or this pg exam so we have to start, like revise these subject like t- uh, taking up the whole textbook or so, is there any some special tricks or tips you will suggest whatever you have referred in your uh, medical school i would really say just uh, just utilize all those research uh, resources which you mm-hmm. have created in the past okay. and there are a lot of que- 
coaching also like uh, marrow mm-hmm. i want marrow to... prep ladder prep ladder prep ladder so if you can uh, also make notes and study with them mm-hmm. so like uh, combining your coaching or like maybe any anything you are doing like supplementary thing and your basic like past uh, study material combine them mm-hmm. and then study okay. this is uh so a uh, few words about the most stressful phase of the medicine medicine career or medical career the internship i won't say internship because internship is like uh, a lot of work and everything but mm-hmm. during the final years exam it was really mm-hmm. hard because final in our medical school final year is like very small period of time they give you a s- small period of time and the syllabus was really vast mm-hmm. at that time i find like during the exam there was an uh, there was one exam because our exams were like scheduled one day uh, like 1 2 3 4 5 every day was like scheduled and mm-hmm. we were looking for something like we can get some uh a day off between our schedule so at that time i find difficulty like Uh, today was surgery then tomorrow is gynae and then then medicine and then uh, peds so it was like you don't get a lot of time to relax it's just like you are in the hyperactive mode all the time mm-hmm. at that time it was really stressful mm-hmm. and i don't think i find uh, any even in second year also like uh, during that time of like preparing for pathology and pharmacology mm-hmm. it was like bit stressful but not that much like it's not that much stressful but you can easily overcome this situation and so the stress of internship internship like you don't have to stress about it because you mm-hmm. you have to do this work for your whole life so that the work is not stressful just just give your 100% in the like learn the uh, learn the like what Uh, learn the art of applying the clinical knowledge into clinical skills like okay the art your knowledge because, your knowledge into the clinical yes clinical skills mm-hmm. so for four years you have been like studying for medi- studying medicine like how can we perform this kind of maneuver or mm-hmm. or this this exam but in the last year the mm-hmm. in the internship year you will utilize that knowledge into patient care so learn okay. that it is really okay. helpful okay okay so so and uh, if you don't mind so then few motivational words about this medical so i come from a family who i i don't have anyone in my family who is a doctor i'm the first generation doctor in my family okay and uh, i all i i even don't have any background of medicine my father is an indian army my uncle is an indian army everyone is like in defense background and then a lot of teaching and defense but not in medicine so it is really it was really daunting for me to come into medicine and like exploring my making my own path so mm-hmm. at if a normal guy like an average guy i consider myself average person i'm not a genius but i do work i have perseverance i really put a lot of efforts in my work so that's why you are seeing me in front of you so just put your like believe in yourself work hard do it consistently perseverance is the key and you can achieve anything in your life and that is what like the ma- main rule i i would really say a person should have in his life yes sir yes sir you are not a average guy you are like a genius for me for me like particular for, for me you are a genius thank you you are made into you are made into the world most of his exam and you are about to get into the match so uh, according to me you are a genius sir thank you thank you a lot yes, of sir, it, it is my pleasure just, sir it's it's just the hard work you have to because you have heard this story since your childhood like there was a rabbit and there was a tortoise yes sir, yes sir. okay 
So Rabbit was genius. He can mm-hmm. run very fast. But what he did, he d- he didn't have persistence. But mm-hmm. the tortoise has had persistence, and he kept on, kept on walking, walking, mm-hmm. walking yes, and yes, yes. finished the race. So mm-hmm. this way, I would say, like, take this uh, my advice to. It is my advice to everyone: mm-hmm. work hard and persistent. You will oh. achieve. everything because okay. the this mm-hmm. whole world is not being run by geniuses yes, geniuses yes. have come came and like they came and do the thing but they were not that much famous but average person like if you consider hitler hitler was an average yes, person. average person you can consider napoleon napoleon was a uh, an average person mm-hmm. if you consider a lot of people average person have ro- rule this world mm-hmm. so oh. just okay, so. believe in yourself mm-hmm. average okay. people rule the world so mm-hmm. not the genius is okay. you you don't re- remember a lot of like uh, neat first rank you don't no, no. see no, them no. they just like comes and go in a spot yeah they were they're just in a spotlight for one or two months and then everyone forget that who are who are, who are they they don't uh, there are very less people those who are like uh, secured first rank in uh, neat ug and then after their mbbs they are securing first rank in neat pg mm-hmm. i haven't seen people like that i've seen one person in aims delhi exam but th- those things are very rare so mm-hmm. average people do like first rank average person gets mm-hmm. the first rank so just believe on yourself Okay, sir, and thank you so much. So, sir, it was my pleasure to have you on my channel once again. So, thank you for your golden tips and golden advice. And sir, I'll best. I'll like what I can say. I'll pray and I wish that you will definitely match it to our residency and get your getting your dreams fulfilled. Thank you very much for having me on your uh, channel. No, and no, sir, I would really, pleasure. I would really like to say one more thing. that uh, i'm thinking of like uh, i really believe like a medical education should be free for everyone it yes. shouldn't be like there should not be a price tag a lot of people mm-hmm. like a lot of coaching institutions and and a lot of agencies are charging hefty monies from students just to give the medical education so i think mm-hmm. like I, i i can make a platform on which like a lot of people can share their uh study pattern and like simply by simplified form of uh, any concept so like yeah. a lot of uh, new upcoming generations of doctor can learn from it so mm-hmm. i want to create free education platform like on youtube or something so i'm working towards it i'm first like i'm making some videos uh, uh, for like people so that they can get free education and so if you don't mind i will also like to join you in this your journey because personally i also think that not just medical education every education should be free because yes. education is what makes up a normal human being into a like a person or a, a, a man yes so that's why i i think like uh, i should work on, work towards it towards it but uh, mm-hmm. right now because of the time constraint i'm mm-hmm. not like uh i'm not putting a lot of efforts in it mm-hmm. but may, maybe in future i'll create this platform okay sir okay so thank you so much sir and uh, once again thank you. thank you so much for your golden words and golden tips it will definitely help me and uh, many many others like me okay, okay.